Hello there all my lovely dream makers, I'm Christina at CSL Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make a basic wire work star but I'm also going to show you a couple of ways that you can use these basic star shapes to achieve some different and interesting designs as well so if you want to learn how to make them then keep watching so as for the materials that we need all I'm going to be using here is a one millimeter regular round copper wire and that's really just to demonstrate with because if you want to make different sizes of the stars you might want to use a thinner or a thicker gauge or even a different gauge altogether depending what you want to use the star for. So the length of wire that I'm working with here is about 25 centimeters but obviously it will depend on the size of star that you want. So to achieve the most magical star possible the first thing I did was basically make myself a little sheet of templates. So I found a star shape that I liked and then I literally printed it off in different sizes there on a sheet of paper and then basically I'm going to be using these as templates so obviously you can then just choose what size of star that you want to use and I'm then going to use this to keep referring back to as I'm making the star so I'm just going to be working with this star down here so it's not too big but also not too small like that's quite small that probably need thinner wire for that but this measures about three centimeters just for reference so get my star in focus here and then I have my length of wire and also just a pair of chain nose or tweezer nose pliers rather so pretty fine so I can get some nice and sharp corners as much as possible so basically I'm just going to keep using this as a template now what I like to do is I kind of just start from the top and I also just leave a little bit of a tail outside of the shape there in the end of the wire just to kind of have something to be able to finish it off with whatever you want to do with it so I follow the first line on the star like that and then I just want to bend the tip here to kind of go upwards straight up instead of kind of at an angle like it did so something a bit like that so that's kind of our starting point so then this wire is coming down here and this is going to be the kind of star that's like you kind of draw as a kid where you're going from tip crossing over to another tip to another tip last tip and then back up to the start so I'm not going to go along the outside like that it's going to be crossing over so also make sure your wire is nice and straight before we start this so we don't have any kinks or bends in it now I like to then put my fingers on it when it's at, in the right place on my template put my fingers on it so it stays in place and then I would simply just put my pliers where the next point is down here so put my pliers into that place on the wire grab onto it something a bit like that and then I just basically push the long end of the wire here against the pliers to get that point in place now obviously we also need to kind of get the distance correct so again I put it down on the template and then I can see I need to kind of push it a bit closer still because this line now needs to go from that point up to the point on the left here so put my pliers back in and I just push that long end a bit more so tighten it up basically measure again so I kind of just put the beginning point up there and then the point that we just made of the star and then also obviously if you made it too tight you just want to open it back up a bit which you can easily do while it's on the template really so I feel something like that probably looks pretty good so you want this length of wire now coming straight from that point following the straight line across to that next point just open it up just a little bit more something like that I think so I then again push down on my wire here so I can put my pliers on that next point on the wire 
that will be somewhere like that. Grab hold of it and then take the long end of the wire, push it against the pliers and now this time I'm going over the top of that beginning part of the wire and all the way to the opposite side because this then has to go to the point on the right side of the star you can see there so now it's a matter of just kind of getting this in place how we like it can sharpen up the point a little bit as well by going in from both sides and then just having a little look so I think that looks pretty good looks like we have a pretty straight line from that point we just made over to the next one that we need to make and I'm following this shape nicely as well so same principle, put the pliers where that next point is going to be grab onto the wire and then, oops, just lost it there just bring it back grab onto the wire try that again and then this time here I'm not bringing it over the top, or the front rather, I'm going to be bending it against the pliers, just like the other times, but now I'm bringing the wire actually behind the back of it instead. So before we went in front, now I'm going to go behind, so just make sure to do that as I'm then making this point, tightening it up a bit, and then I just want to check how it looks in the shape. there we go, doesn't look too bad, nice straight lines as well and then again we can just work on that point a little bit going from both sides and just kind of squeeze the wire it sharpens up the point a little bit and now I'm just going to check that I'm happy with the direction that the wire is going in to the next point So I know the distance on that point here is nice. But before we then start making this point down here, we now need to start kind of weaving the wire in and out as well. So this wire that I just brought behind, the first, now it's coming behind two wires here. So the first one is where it needs to be behind, but the next one down here, it needs to come in front. So I actually need to bring this length here, the open length that we're working with, through this opening here so I'm just going to push it back a little bit just try the best you can keep the shape and then I'm just kind of putting a big curve into it bringing the very end of the wire through from behind and then just pulling it through gently now you can see it does go out of shape but that's why we just had it kind of in place to begin with and then we just it's kind of gone a bit curvy, so we just literally take a bit of time straighten it back out. And also, up here, we need to just tighten it up a little bit again. You can also use your pliers to help straighten anything out, especially places where you can't really get your fingers into. But as you can see, we now have the wire that we're working with actually coming through. So behind the first wire and through the opening in the middle and then in front of the next wire. So we're starting to do the intertwining bit. Now we need to just double check that it's in the direction and it's also nice and straight in line with the towards the next point. So, just take your time doing that. You can kind of push it down towards the paper just to get a real good look. 
And then this wire is obviously going down towards that next point. So that's the next part. So you'll want to make sure we push it against the paper there to see where we need to put the pliers. Make sure everything's in place. Just need to kind of push it over a little bit more. There we go. And then put the pliers for that next point. So something like that. And start then pushing the length against the pliers again. Now here we need to also pay attention to what direction, well, whether we're going over or under. Now, it's basically always going to be opposite. So before it came under and then over, that means the next one here needs to be opposite the one we just did. So it needs to go under. So that means, again, I need to bring this length behind. As we're tightening up that point. So just push it and then basically you want to bring it towards where the very first bend that we made is. That's going to end up being the top point. So it looks like this for now. So you can really start to see the effect that we're going to get. But before we then just finish it off, I can see I just want to sharpen up this point a little bit more. It seems a little bit rounder than the others. So just sharpen up this point a bit. And tighten it up as well if you need to. So, so far so good. Now, we need to do the same with intertwining the wire here. So we brought it behind, just to check in. And we basically need to do the same thing because it's gone behind the first one here, but it needs to come in front of the next one. So again, I'm pushing it a little bit towards the back, just to kind of give some space to work with. Then taking the end, kind of trying to do a big curve so it doesn't get too tight and affect the wire too much and then just feed it through from the back towards the front and then start to straighten it out get it back into place now that got a little bit curled there but what we can also do is use some flat nose pliers to help basically flatten the wire back out. And just take a bit of time doing that because we want it back as straight as possible. So basically we control where the points and the bends are going to be. But obviously we do have to just curve it a little bit as we're bringing it through. And then you can see it's going up towards where that very first bend is that we made, which is going to be the top point. Also making sure from this side here. So we have the wire intertwined now all the way around. And just take a little bit of time, straighten it out. Just run it through your fingers like this. And then also just now before I do anything else, just want to go back and double check anything. So if anything needs adjusting a little bit, I want to just try and do it now. So just have a look at that. So once you're happy with the star and everything's in place, then all that's left to do is just to kind of completely finish off the star shape is obviously the wire that we've been working with is kind of going across there, but I want that to also come straight up. Just like the first little bend that we did. 
So just basically straighten that out. So the two wires here, two ends of the wire rather, are going to end up running right next to each other. And that is basically then finishing off the top point. So something like that. We then have the star shape in place and what you can always do as well is put it against obviously the shape here but also a hard surface and then just flatten it all out if you need to. Make sure these two go side by side and then we have a finished shaped star. Now if you want to just keep the basic star like this, then what we could do is just put some loops at the top here. So use the tails that we have left. I'm just going to show you how to do that. So I take my chain nose pliers and place them right where the point is where they meet up to form that top point. So just like that. So I'm grabbing hold of it with my pliers. And then the two ends of the wire I'm going to basically push in opposite directions. So first of all, it doesn't really matter which one you push in what direction. The first one here, I'm just pushing against the pliers and then pushing it. In this case, I'm just pushing it back. So like that. And the other one, have the pliers in the same place. I'm going to push that forward. something a bit like that so they're now going away from each other but we still have that point in place and then I'm going to take my six step bell making pliers you can also use round nose pliers I just like using these because I know exactly the size loop that I'm going to get and then I'm just going to place these first of all obviously just one wire at a time choose the size loop that you want that's up to you place them right on top of the bend kind of as if, as if we're doing a wrap loop and then this wire that I'm just first of all grabbing onto it's coming towards the front I'm just going to push that around the pliers towards the back and you can just move the pliers and I want to bring this all the way around back towards the front again so basically we end up with a full circle like that so that's the first one then I want to do the same with the other one. Now you can use the first loop there, put the pliers through so you're still grabbing onto that. And then you just want to push this one to create the exact same loop right next to the other one. Just bring it all the way around. So when I take my pliers out, we can see I have the loops sitting right next to each other. And then all that's left to do is cut off the excess. Now I'm cutting off the excess of the wire here one side at a time. So the circle that we have is going to still be a full circle and the very end of the wire is going to end up putting up against itself at the base of the circle there. So I'm going to cut it. Rather cut off too little than too much because you can always cut off a little bit more. Try and cut it somewhere like that. And then I just also go to the other side and do that. Cut off the excess. And then you're going to find that the wire is kind of sticking out a little bit. You can see that there. So I just want to make sure I flatten that on both sides. So it's almost a bit like a jump ring now that we want to close up. So make sure that that end of the wire is budding up against itself so it's not sticking out because that's going to then prevent it from catching or scratching on anything. And just be kind of a full closed circle. And we now have the two loops sitting right next to each other here. And they're ready for you to put anything like a ribbon or something through that. And you can use your simple little star as decoration or obviously in a necklace or as earrings. That's completely up to you. First of all, I made another basic star shape here, but then what I did was I actually weaved each of the points after I made the basic shape itself. 
So you can see it kind of just gives a little bit of a different impact. Almost stands out a little bit more. So all you want to do to do that is, first of all, I want to start with a point where I made my loops, just so it kind of helps hold everything together. So you just cut a length of 0.4mm, in this case here, wire. And then I start, first of all, wrapping it around right at the point, in this case below the loops. And then I want to start with a figure of eight weave from side to side to basically fill in the space. So I'm just doing this one point first of all until I reach the point here where I basically had the wire going straight across in the middle. And then when that's filled out, I move on to the next point and attach a new wire, do exactly the same thing, fill that one out and move all the way around until they're all filled up like this. You can see that gives a really nice impact as well. And another variation I did was where I used two different sizes of the stars, made the basic star shape, but making sure that I used sizes where the small one would fit within the large one like this in the middle. And then all I did was, again, I connected a length of 0.4 mm wire and started wrapping it all the way around the outer frame of the large star. And then when I get to the kind of inner points there between the points going out, that's where then start connecting the small star at the outer points. And you end up with this and obviously I keep going all the way around, connect at the next point, connect in the next one, until connected all the way around. And then we also have a little bit of decoration around the outer frame on the large star. So that gives a really interesting effect as well, I think. So obviously that's just matching up the sizes of the stars that you want to use. So that was just a little bit of inspiration to show you how you can use these basic star shapes to create several different interesting designs. And obviously these will all work great for jewellery, so pendants and earrings, but they also work brilliantly for Christmas decorations. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to make these wirework stars. If you make any yourself or if you come up with a different way of using them, I would love to see that. You can always tag me on social media. All my links will be in the description box down below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one.